I really just wanted to bring people on a journey to feel what it's like to climb up Everest, to walk all the way back down, to share this journey and experience so that other people could feel inspired and that they could go and find their own Everest. I got people messaging from all over, someone here said, we got this, watching you from Mexico, thinking and praying for a safe descent and descent. And then I managed to just get hold of my dad. I said, made it to camp too. He said, brilliant, well done. <laughs> What's that like? I said, pretty brutal. <laughs> I wanted to have the A-team squad around me. I'm like, this is gonna be an adventure. This is gonna be so exciting. I had my dad that was coming to base camp with me. Luke, my boyfriend, was coming to camp too. And then I was gonna summit. I also have my incredible guide, Kenton, who has summited Everest 16 times. And then we also had a videographer and his assistant. Thank you. So I have not stopped working or traveling or doing something that has involved my constant attention for years. I can't even remember the last time like I even had like a day off. So the vision for me personally was to be like, hey, could I, could I summit Everest? Like, could I get to the top of the world? What would that feel like? And more importantly, it was even if I didn't get there, who could I inspire along the way? I have a tattoo on my foot that says every step counts and we're definitely closer than we were 48 hours ago. So it's just about taking that next step and taking it one step at a time. Nobody sets foot on the mountain until the expedition is blessed. It just got me thinking, I think I just for the first time realised everything that I've put into this. Most humans don't put themselves out there because they're scared of what it's going to really be like. But I think most of the times we get, you know, we worry more about things that don't even happen. When it comes to Everest, there are so many dangers that you wouldn't even think about until you're there. That's one of the biggest concerns is that you go with people that don't have your best interests at heart. I think that there is a big fear factor in it, but the accomplishment of overcoming those challenges is what makes people keep going back year after year. I mean, I was really lucky I lost my best friend climbing. Yeah, it makes you reflect, it makes you think. At the same time, it, it is what brings me alive. I think when you go to climb Everest, you're expecting to see an avalanche. You're expecting to like get altitude sickness. And my journey was kind of interesting. And even as I'm trying to explain, these other things feel like this cloud over me. No, no, just tell me now. No, Rebecca, I'm, I'm really sorry. Um, I've just died. Oh, yes. Why did you take him to the vets? I'm at the vets now. <laughs> Rebecca's Alfie, the dog that she's had for 13 years has, has passed away, has died. And here we are at uh, Everest Base Camp and she's, and she's had to take the news. He was like my sidekick. Have the trainers with me as well. Not Megan and Arena, but Alfie and Penny. I've never, I've never felt like lost like this. It's been a privilege and honour to hike with you guys. Thanks to my wonderful daughter. Thanks for coming. Thank you very much. <laughs> Everest has so much uncertainty and there's so much emotion, but my goal was always one step in front of the other. Yeah, I was pretty worried about Luke yesterday. He did not look good. You know, the whole night was just a battle. Like, I've never had the feeling that if, that if I close my eyes, I might not wake up. I'm just trying to tell him, like, please, go to the hospital. It's just so humbling to have to be flown out. The community if it wasn't for them, if it wasn't for the support, it wouldn't have been half of the experience that it was. Alfie passed away and then my dad left base camp. And then, you know, we, we had to deal with something that happened for Luke. I'm you know, just trying to get my mind now, concentrating on what, what's next. I didn't come here being like uber confident. I came here going like, I've got no idea what I'm signing up for. I just need to, give it a go. I was always, always what I've done in life. Give it a go and if you do it, great. If not, no problem. Just take the next step. There's nothing wrong with trying something and it doesn't work out. But at this moment today going, oh, I think I might be able to do this. I think I'm going to be able to summit. 
it was all like a bit of a mindset game, but like I said, if you if you look at things differently, the things that you look at can change. Oh, yes. Oh, I can't believe we're here. Oh, this is sign for oh, anybody trying to do anything, the fear of anything, just one step at a time. And if you just keep going one step at a time, you'll reach the summit. I'm mom and dad. Guess where I am? I'm on top of the world. I made it to the top. Top of Mount Everest. Yep, made it, dad. I felt, if I look back at myself and I kind of, you know, try and picture myself sitting there, I think I looked lonely. I think I looked, you know, like, oh, oh my goodness, I've got to the top of the world, but like, who am I with? I was expecting something to feel like this, like, accomplishment together as a team. Looking at that moment, I had that pit in my stomach when I got to the summit of like, holy cow, like, what have you done? Like, why have you put all of your money invested into this? Yeah, I think it like altered my view of being at the top. Which I'm trying not to let it, but I'm being honest. No, no one even asked me if I was okay. And, and that's where I'm really struggling with this whole documentary and how honest I can be and how transparent and also being authentic without blame or judgment. Am I valid to feel these feelings about what I feel should have happened? I think that when I was there, I just showed up and I gave everything. It was when I came back where I kind of digested things and was able to process what really happened. But that's where my bravery, I'm either gonna step up or it's gonna be something that I just don't talk about.